Today on Voiding Warranties, I'm going to be testing the brain of the Blue Beast, specifically the ability to advance and retard timing on the fly from my cell phone. Voiding Warranties is now officially sponsored by the letter Q and the number 15. If you saw my video on the brain of the blue beast, then you understand I take the ignition coil input and then I map it from 0 to 360 degrees. Then I play back this map and I can adjust where it plays back at to advance or retard timing on the fly. And I use my cell phone by interfacing with the CAN bus through OBD2 protocol to advance and retard timing. I've tested it at my desk, but I've never tested it in the car. So I have a laptop over here that's going to be running oscilloscope software, and I'm going to be testing to make sure I can actually advance the retard timing. I'm also going to check to make sure the output that's going to come from here will be able to drive a coil without problems. Let's get started. I've got the oscilloscope set up and it's showing both the signal to the coils from the ECU and the signal that I've used the uh, brain of the blue beast to adjust and they're right on top of each other that's exactly what I want right now because I haven't changed the timing at all now let's add some advance and four degrees the teal line has now advanced by four degrees that's the signal that the brain is sending out Eleven degrees, that's the maximum I can advance right now in software. And it's perfect. All right. Let's bring it back. Eleven degrees retard, and it's still perfect but I'm only idling right now. I need to see what happens when I rev the engine. And for revving the engine, I have my 12-year-old lab assistant, Keith. All right, Keith. Now, I'm gonna need you to get in the car. Okay, you're kind of eager on this. That kind of has me worried. All right. I've done this before on accident. Yeah, I know you did. All right. Now, it's the right pedal. Yep, you got it. All right, and over here we have the tachometer that shows RPM, okay? You're going to need to press the right pedal and I need you to rev it and I don't want you to go above 8, okay? See the 8 up there? Yes. Do not go above that 8, all right? Okay. All right, rev it. Again. That is beautiful. It is beautiful. It's tracking just perfect. This is everything I could have hoped for. I got to check the other three channels, but this is beautiful. All right, so off camera, I tested the remaining three channels and everything works. I can control the leading timing. I can control the trailing timing. Uh, with a little tweaking in software, I can even control the front housing and the rear housing independently. It all works and it all works up to high RPM. Now I've just got to implement some more software to take advantage of this, and that's for another time on Voiding Warranties. But if you like this show, please click like, and if you want to see more like it, click subscribe. Also, I'll be providing you with a few more links like there, there, and maybe here or there, so you can see other videos that I'm doing on the Blue Beast and other projects around the house. Till next time, keep on Voiding Warranties.